Hello guys, welcome to Ankit Sunil Vets. Today I'll tell you 16 side effects of getting a tattoo. Uh, please mind it here. I am just talking about the permanent tattoos. So reference for the scientific data and medical facts provided in this video is given in the description box and also at the end of this video. First we will talk about the infections. Tattoo involves physical injury to the skin which will promote the transmission of viral or bacterial or other infections. Skin is not properly cleaned. Viral infections are common. Most important are hepatitis B and C, HIV virus. Others are HPV, molluscum, herpes. In bacteria, there could be streptococcus infection which can lead to impitigo, erypsilla, septicemia. Staphylococcus can cause into toxic shock syndrome which is rare. Other infection could be syphilis, leprosy. Fungal infections are very very rare but there have been cases of zygomycosis or candida. Next are the tumors or cancer which can occur through tattoo. The first are the benign. Benign means they are not so dangerous. They won't spread. They would be limited to one particular area. They do not cause much damage. Examples are seborrheic keratosis, histiocytofibroma, epidermal cyst, or milia. The next one are malignants. These are the most dangerous one and can uh, metastasize to other part of your body. These occur because of intradermal injections which could be potentially carcinogenic substance or also due to exposure of UV radiation and genetic factors. Examples are basal cell carcinoma, keratocanthoma, squamous cell carcinoma, malignant melanoma, dermatofibrosarcoma. These all are the skin cancers. There could be serious adverse reactions generally it is said the chances are 0.02 percent of these serious reactions which can occur the first one is local persistent inflammatory reaction as in this picture you can see in due to the red ink there is a circumscribed inflammatory lichenoid skin reaction they could be granulomas followed by acute facial edema. In this case, the person tried to have permanent eyebrow through the tattoo which resulted into pruritus means itching and then which also led to the facial edema. Here you can see the edema of the face. The another one is granulomas with persistent edema and scarring of alopecia. Glabular edema with delayed scarring of alopecia of the eyebrows. This patient came after three years of tattoo. The next one could be persistent inflammatory granulomatous reaction with erythema nodosum in which there is severe partly bullous inflammation reaction marked by circumscribed edema. They could be, as I told, they could be infection which can result into abscess. Here you can see the pus oozing out. They could be chronic infections. They could be severe ulceration. They could be allergic or foreign body reaction because as they put pigments like black, brown, green, yellow, red, these are some metals or these are the materials which are used to give the tattoo the color. If it is a metal, then you may have trouble during if you are getting an MRI scan also some people could be sensitive to these material which can result into foreign body reaction or some allergic or hypersensitivity reactions can occur because these allergies can uh, be seen in other form of like eczematous, lichenoid or pseudolymphoma lesions or like uteric area is itching kind of lesion or photoallergy can also occur. The next uh, side effect is localization of the disease or cobernization. It means when if the person is having psoriasis or lichen plancus or vitiligo due to the minor trauma caused during the tattoo process it can aggravate your disease that is called cubernization. Uh, there could be localization of sarcoidosis, lupus and tattooing can also lead to reactivation of infections like herpes, subcutaneous or discoid type of lupus or pyoderma gangrionosum. If you want to remove a tattoo mostly the laser technology is used which can also result into local inflammation, blep formation, it may heal with hypertrophic scar, there could be a hypopigmented lesion. Here is the complete list which can occur during the tattoo removal. There are immediate delayed pigmentary changes, allergic, paradoxical darkening, surface changes and all you can go through the detail. The another side effect could be psychological because when you get a tattoo you have a different mindset 
uh, you are in different josh and different age but as soon uh, you grow up and you become more mature that time you may realize oh i do not need this tattoo on my body or if it is a name of some loved one and then you broke up or there is divorce or anything then it may cause you some depression or stress in your life so be careful before putting any tattoo in your body and here is a complete list of complications of tattoo and how it can present how much time it may take to uh, show its symptoms of those side effects a majority of complication can be reduced by following few guidelines like there should be strict aseptic precautions so to prevent the bacterial viral or fungal infections the instrument should be sterile and if it is disposable then it's better most of the places like a person who got the tattoo recently cannot donate the blood within the next 6 months in foreign in most of the places it is up to 1 year that person who got the tattoo cannot donate the blood because it is to avoid the transmission of certain diseases before getting a tattoo on the skin the skin should be thoroughly cleaned ink should be sterile and of good qualities and tattooing should be carried by trained personnel so that pigment is placed in the proper depth so here is the reference for the scientific fact which i have provided in my video For more videos do subscribe to my channel Ankit Sunil Vets see you guys in my next video tata bye bye